going to be a pretty quick experiment, hopefully. I've got this chunk of 932 bearing bronze, which uh, has about these proportions. I'm ignoring some smaller constituents because they don't really matter. Now I've got some bronze casting I want to do, uh, ancient Roman stuff as usual, but the problem is if I were to go and try and make my own bronze, this furnace will not melt copper on its own, I've tried. Melting point is just too high. But it will melt brass, which I have done several times. There's a chunk that's stuck in a piece of muffin tin that I still haven't melted back out. And the melting point of this bronze is about the same. So since I have a little bit of it already, the plan is to melt that chunk, get a little pool going, then I can drop in the lead and the tin. That's the tin. Now I should be able to just take my scraps of copper, dunk them in, and they will dissolve into the liquid metal, even though it's not hot enough to melt the copper on its own. Now the easiest way to measure out all these components would be a digital scale, but it turns out the only one I have is uh, broken. But I do have a graduated cylinder, a bucket of sand, and this equal beam balance I made from some scrap and cat food cans. So what I'm going to do is take a chunk or two of this tin, use that as my base unit because uh, it's harder to divide that into smaller pieces for precise increments than the copper and lead that I have. I will stick the tin in one side of the beam balance and in the other side I will add sand until there is an equal weight. Then I will measure the volume of that sand and then multiply it by 0.85 for the lead and 12.4 for the copper to come up with the scaled volume of sand that I then stick back in the scale and add metal until I get the proper weight. So a little more complex than just uh, weighing an amount on a scale, but using what I have. Call that eleven and a half milliliters. Got about ten there, that should be close enough. Back into the scale it goes. enough. I'm going to scoop all this out one scoop at a time. Weigh out the copper for each scoop until the sand is gone.
it's at that point where it's kind of like wet sand and crumbly, and you can crush it. We have a little puddle down there. I'm gonna drop in the lead and tin. Should be able to watch those melt. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them down there. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and soft. <laughs> well, you can't get them all. Watch me. Yeah, okay. Now that's all. Last of the copper. Mash it down. for it all to reliquify. You definitely have a liquid all the way down. For sure. I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff to scrape off. That's good. Which is weird, because there is all kinds of slag on the inside of those copper pipes. Like, am I just scraping out metal right now? I don't know. into a jar of dirt this time so we don't get shards. bust apart right now. ton soups worth of bronze. Actually it looks a lot like egg drop. The lumps I soaked in vinegar just kind of look like copper now. I guess it dissolved away the lead and maybe the tin on the surface and left this pink color. This is probably not the best sort of material to be starting a melt with because it's so thin. All that surface area is going to produce oxides and slag. Plus it's like really sharp and kind of hurts to handle. 
wouldn't want to step on that stuff. A bunch of little stabby flakes with lead in them. But I'd call that a successful experiment. I know I can melt the stuff and pretty soon I'll be making some actual objects out of it. Now I'm not about to do a video on bronze casting without shoehorning in a little bit of ancient Rome. Here I have my Roman coin collection. We've got a copper os of Hadrian and a silver denarius of Vespasian. I like this one because it's big and heavy. And I like this one particularly because you can see some marks on both faces indicating that the dies, the punch and die used to mint this coin was actually wearing out by the time they got to this one. To most coin collectors that makes it imperfect. To me that makes it interesting and cheap. Plus even though uh, Vespasian's face is pretty worn out there, you can still see just how crotchety he was originally. Before there were coins proper in ancient Rome, there were cast coins. Those are far too expensive for me to hope to own. And before that, there were cast ingots. Pretty sizable, something like that. Heavy, uh, almost a kilogram. And those are way, way too expensive for me to hope to own. But even before that, Rome and the other Italian city-states, this is in the time before Rome had even conquered Italy, there was these. They were referred to as Ais Rude. I think I'm using classical pronunciation here, so don't make fun of me. Now, these are nice and relatively cheap because they don't look like anything. And uh, really there's no way of knowing if they were actually used as currency in their lifetime or if they were just unintentional scraps of bronze from casting processes. But to an ancient Roman of the time, I don't think it would have mattered. You would pay for things in a weight of these. It doesn't, it's not like one of them is, is worth a set value, like a coin. Now the reason I'm bringing these out is because they look an awful lot like the pieces of bronze that I poured out onto the ground and broke up by hand. And that's because I'm pretty sure that's how these were made. They would have been poured into a depression in dirt or sand and busted up. Likely, my guess, when they were hot, it just would have been easier into more convenient to handle pieces. So this one in particular looks like it just uh, was it droplet on its own. But this one, if I had to guess, you've got a natural edge over here, and these two flat faces look like they were broken. A lot like this one here, where it's uh, sort of smooth lumpy, but where I busted off a piece, it's a uh, flat. So I guess it looks like I didn't really make any objects in this video, but at the same time, kind of did. For real though, next time I promise I play with bronze, I'll make something with an actual shape. So, see you next time. Uh, what else do you need? You need your other tongs ready? Uh, move. my spot. Now it's my spot. My video. Load mine first. <laughs> Probably. <laughs>